Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And Synology has set the internet on fire. So if you remember about four years ago, we talked about certain models of Synology NAS devices having to use Synology hard drives. And there was a lot of backlash then. But now we've learned that for the new upcoming 2025 models, they are going to start pushing where the Synology drives are going to be the best drives. Now, I will say that anytime I do anything in an enterprise environment or a business environment, my advice has always been buy Synology memory and buy Synology drives because Synology has a solution that's going to work for what we want to do. Now, I also understand the flip side of that equation where people want to be able to provide their own drives. I totally understand it from both viewpoints. So I just want to look at how this kind of came out and look at some of the articles and, and we'll look at some of this. So let's flip over to my web browser. So this was actually released on their German site. And it looks like there's a more localized page. Let's see if we do the continue. Yeah, so if we go to the English uh, site, it doesn't exist. It's on it's on the German site. So this has been translated using the in browser translation. The only reason that I that I know about this is I, I saw something come out. Somebody found this, and so the first article that I read came from Tom's Hardware, and then I found a link over to this. Tom Lawrence did a video. Tony uh, over at Quick Tech has done a video. NAS Compares has done a video. We'll go uh, and we'll just do a quick once over on the YouTubes. And I totally understand, you know, that people are upset by this. Synology, if you read this, this article, so it's going to start with the, the 25 model. So anything up to 2024 for, for certain things. Uh, so right here it says plus models released up to and including 2024 except XS plus and rack models do not change. So if you've worked with us on one of those projects, you already know that they complain if there's not Synology hard drives. It's not that we can't do things, but when we submit a support ticket, the first thing they look at is if you've added memory to the system, is it Synology? If you're running hard drives, are they Synology? It can cause some support snafus occasionally. But one of the things that if you if you don't use Synology's hard drives or third-party compatible hard drives that are Synology cert certified, you may not get all of the functionality. And what that means, I just thought I just saw it here. Ah, uh, yeah, the use of compatible and unlisted hard drives will be subject to certain limitations in the future, such as when creating pools and supporting problems and disruptions due to the use of incompatible storage media. Volume-wide deduplication, lifespan analysis, and automatic firmware updates of the hard drives will only be available for Synology hard drives in the future. So from a support side, I get it. If you're supporting businesses who are using this for their day-to-day -day operations and is not somebody who's just got a bunch of Plex and music stuff on it, maybe some home files, things like that. I get it from a business side. I, I would like to see them walk this back a little bit and give us like a checkbox that says, uh, I understand that by using these drives, I'm not going to get support and not lock all of the features. Now, obviously, keeping firmware on the hard drives up to date is pretty important. But that system-wide deduplication, I don't know if, that, if that's tied into the drive somehow, but that is, that, to me, that's, that's an important thing, right? So we use a lot of Synology to move a lot of data to a lot of different places, and that deduplication helps us do that in places where we don't have huge amounts of bandwidth to be able to work with. So for me, that one's really important. In those cases, I'm still going to tell people just buy the Synology hard drives for what we're doing, doing 
they're making a size and they are going to, uh, the, the cost isn't horrible. And then if we have a support issue in a business, you know, like a live environment that's being used for business, then we have one place to go. No finger pointing. Synology is going to have to take care of all of that warranty. But they really, with this announcement, have really relit that fuse. And if you go over to the YouTubes and you just search for Synology hard drive lock-in, you see this one was uh, four days ago, uh, four years ago, uh, Serve the Home did a video on it. Four days ago, NAS Compares did a video. I did this four, four years ago when they were talking about the lock-in. Tom Lawrence just did a video a few days ago. Uh, so if you just, if you go and you look on YouTube, you'll find all kinds of videos out there about it. I know Tony just did a live stream about his, but if you Google search this, I mean, there are some pretty, some pretty large tech uh, publications picking this up. So this is the verge. And so they wrote their story on it. Of course, Tom's hardware. I love the Tom's hardware forum. Um, so that was one of the first articles that I read. Reddit, of course, is on fire. And most of the comments I'm seeing about this are not positive. I'd like to know what you think down in the comments. Basically, I would say 95% uh, of everything that I'm seeing is people saying, that's it, I'm leaving the platform, I'm going elsewhere. And that's where Synology <clears throat> does have to be careful unless they're going to officially tell us that they are looking to support business use, business application only, right? So, and there's a lot of different users within that space. There are the users that like to use their own hard drives. There are the users who will buy everything Synology. There are the users who will walk away. And there are now, of course, on the flip side of this, there are businesses, MSPs and things like that that are going, okay, this is great. We can make this work for us and they'll push, they'll push for this even harder, right? So Synology is kind of walking a, a line with this. And I mean, when you scroll down on the Reddit, I expected to keep my current Synology for several more years, but this definitely tells me that when I outgrow it or it dies, I won't be buying another one. That is overwhelmingly what I'm seeing. Now, I don't think, <coughs> excuse me, I don't necessarily, this thing is still hanging on. Hold on a second. I don't necessarily think that a lot of people who are running a lot of these at scale are out here commenting, but I also don't, don't think that a lot of people that are running these at scale have, have maybe bought most of the devices that are out there. Now, in my daily life and with all the customers that I support and, and everything, I mean, hundreds of these devices I, I support or have access to or touch. That's a lot of devices, but it's spread out among a lot of people, right? We're, we're probably close to a thousand devices that we support. It's going to be very interesting to see how MSPs and other companies react to this. Because when I buy an HP SAN or a Dell SAN, I'm buying Dell drives, I'm buying HP drives. It's that same kind of, it's that same kind of thing. But when you've got other NAS devices, such as uh, QNAP, Ugreen, uh, Asus Store, that are not doing this, they now have an opportunity to seize on some of that business. Of course, the most beautiful thing about Synology, we all know, and we should all be able to recognize that their hardware platform is, they don't keep up with pushing the latest hardware. They've put a lot of resources into DSM and making it beautiful and making it functional and making it stable and making it secure. And their hardware lags behind, which I'm, I'm not against that. I'm always up for secure solutions that meet our needs. But this topic definitely has a lot of people's uh, feathers ruffled. So as you're listening to this, make sure you're commenting down below. Here's another thing. Ours, ours picked this up. Synology could bring certified drive requirements to more NAS devices. And here they even referenced that it was a German press release. Uh, 
maybe they thought by releasing it in Germany first that they would test the waters and see how this goes by at least putting the article out there. Maybe they had a show there first or they've got something coming up, one of their exhibitions coming up or something like that. And they were going to kind of circle back around to the non-German countries later. But this is the internet and everything is out there and is accessible. They had to know this was going to get out. So I'd like to see an official press release on the English site to kind of let us know. And I'm hoping that even my contacts, if they see this video, will reach out to me and let me know. They've, they've changed internally and other creators can uh, uh, attest to this. When I first, first started doing Synology videos, it wasn't, you know, they didn't reach out to me. Like I saw a need in the market for how to do things and how to do it properly. So I started creating those videos. Then they reach out. And that's how it works with a lot of the, the companies that reach out or we see something that's cool. We reach out, but, but I still think there's definitely a place for Synology. I was talking to one of my friends in Wisconsin and he's like, good, I'm glad they're doing this. And he's an MSP. And so, you know, he's on that other flip side of the coin where this is going to make his life easier. Everything, the support is all in one place. Firmware comes from one place. So that's how he feels about it. And on the flip side of that coin, you've got all these people that are saying, nope, we're leaving we're leaving the platform. On the Sinoforum.com, which is not run by Synology, which is run by third-party folks, uh, you can see this, this top... Um, article right here synology 2025 nas hard drive and ssd lock and confirm bye bye seagate and western digital and look first first comment time to look for another brand when it's time to upgrade the nas second person says although i'm not a fan of the scare tactics of the of the big red warning signs when using non-Synology drives. I can live with that as long as they don't outright ban every other hard drive or SSD brand entirely. And that's going to be the key, right? So right now, if you've got one of the bigger NASs where they tell you that you need to use Synology hard drives, you know you can put compatible drives in and you can run it, but it throws a fit and it warns you that those drives are not compatible, but it still works. If they completely lock the other drives out, I think that's where we're really going to run into some problems. If we go over to the compatibility list, of course, the latest uh, system on here uh, for the 9 series was the 923 that I could find. Let's see if we can find something with a 24 at the end. Let's see here if we just do a search for 24. So there's the DS224. Let's see here. And people really hang on to their Synology. Synology does a good job at supporting their devices for a very long time. So even when people reach out to us, sometimes the devices are from 2015, 16, 17, 18. So right here, if we look, if we look, this is the DS224 Plus. Of course, all of the Synology drives, all the way up to 20 terabyte, are supported. And then if we drop this down and we go to third party, you can see Seagate, Toshiba, and I believe that Toshiba was the, and somebody correct me in the comments if this is wrong, but when Synology's drives first came out, they were rebranded Toshiba drives. I'm not sure if there are other manufacturers in the mix with that now, but I'm sure that Synology has worked something out so that they do make money because that's a thing, right? If we're buying a device, let's say I buy a 923 and I'm not going to replace, replace it till, till 2030. I mean, I have sucked every penny of value out of that device and Synology hasn't made another dime off of me unless I bought some sort of licensing or something else. So it's very tough sometimes to be a hardware only company and we've seen this with other other companies such as ubiquity uh, grandstream you at some point they have to have that recurring revenue to keep innovating and and keep pushing now the other companies are doing it a little bit differently than this they're offering you know cloud-based 
you know, third party services, which Synology has done, you know, you can buy their cloud services to augment your on-prem and they can make money that way. Uh, some of the things that they're doing, especially with like C2 identity don't make sense to me where it's not even compatible with their own, their own, uh, system, but, um, uh, we'll have to see how that, how that goes. The other thing that I'm going to be very interested to see is which in this, in this article, it mentions that there's going to be some Synology, uh, certified hard drives. So I can't wait to see the list of what the certified hard drives are going to be. I mean, right now, these are the compatible products. And it tells you right here, Synology will not provide technical support if your device is not on the Synology products compatibility list. But right now, I can buy any drive that fits and that will power up in the device and I can run it. So uh, luckily, most people go with Western Digital or Seagate or the Synology drives. They're not always on the list, but it's going to be interesting to see how they navigate this and how they handle it. But it has certainly caused an uproar and I definitely wanted to address it because I think they've got several challenges ahead. And from a business standpoint, it's going to be interesting to see how they handle this. Could they walk it back at this point? If people start voting with their wallets, could we see a mass exodus from Synology to a QNAP to a UNAS green, you know, as much as I like the ubiquity NAS because it's, it's simple and it integrates with Unify. It doesn't have the features that we've come to know from DSM. It's just not there yet. And I don't know that ubiquity's goal is to make it that right. It's really perfect for file sharing and public file sharing and, and backing things up, QNAP, their software is pretty much one-to-one -one with DSM and they provide those services, but it's not as pretty and they have some security things that they need to address. The other competitors are getting up to speed as fast as they can. Could this be the time that these other companies are going to strike while the iron's hot? It's going to be very interesting. Synology, if you watch this, I love an English released press release. I would love for this to be addressed. It doesn't take much research to see how much backlash this is getting. For now, I'm, you know, like I said, anytime I deploy anything in a corporate, a business, or an enterprise, we're using those Synology drives. Now, I will tell you in my Synology devices, my QNAP devices, my UNAS Green, my uh, ubiquity, my Asus store, I'm running all kinds of different drives. So, and I know other people out there are running all kinds of drives and people keep drives and they recycle drives or they shuck hard drives. Synology is going to have to address this. They need to let us know exactly where we stand. They need to stand on it. They need to stand behind their word. They need to publish this more than just on their German site. They've, they've, they, they need to make an announcement very quickly because when there's no communication from the company, this is when people's imaginations, worst case scenarios start coming out. People are upset. So Synology, please release something on the English site. Let us know what's going on. No one has reached out to me yet. Hopefully they see this. Hopefully they'll reach out. Hopefully they'll let us all know what's going on. I need some clarification on this. Other people on the internet need clarification about this. This, this could be a make it or break it moment for Synology. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, and share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below, along with affiliate links, a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you are on Synology and you want to move away to another product, if you want to go whole hog with Synology, or you need voice over IP, wireless, wired networking, or security, head on over to willyhow.com, fill out the contact form that's right there on the front page, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. We do have an open thread about this on the community over at community.willyhow.com. Come on over there too after you comment on this video and put your thoughts on the community. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.